Well guys, the coop is starting to take shape. I've gone ahead and framed up this final fourth wall. And this is the duct door. I made it 20 by 20. So that should be plenty big for a couple of ducks to get through side by side and more than tall enough. I debated about making it a little bit shorter, but I didn't see any real downside to making it 20 inches tall. And then these are going to be the walls of the actual run. And they're spaced three feet apart. So from there to there is three feet. From there to there is three feet. That's just two feet because I had eight feet to work with. And I've got three feet here, again three feet. Then I have another section. I kind of make them in six foot sections. So I've got a kind of a double here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then I'll go three feet, three feet. Then we're gonna come down this 12. Actually, this is gonna be another 16. So I'll have a couple of, like an off size opening. It's gonna go this way. And then I'm also gonna have an enclosure, I think this way to separate this run from the run over here to keep the ducts a little bit segregated. Plus, we're gonna keep it, like I said, I'm gonna divide this in half and have a, a wall in the middle. So I'll have some ducts on this side, some on that side. So if we ever have to isolate any for any reason, we can bring that back. I'm gonna leave this enclosure. I'll probably end up having that as a door that'll swing open and closed. So we can leave it open normally, but if we need to isolate anybody, we can close it off. So first phase one is going to be this 16, uh, this is 12, 12 by 16. And then eventually it's going to go this other 16 feet out. Uh, I think it's actually, it's about 12 feet out and 16 and a half feet wide. So that's what we've got. I'm doing my math wrong. It's 12 feet to here and it's 35 feet out that way. So that's another 23 feet longer. So this is going to be a massive run for these guys. If we ever get chickens, maybe we can put a chicken coop over there on that corner or over on this corner and then have a chicken run and the duck run and whatever. Uh, but that's currently not in the plans. So also, so I've got a four by four here. This is going to be my main roof support. This guy's going to go probably two or three feet above. So I'm going to have an eight by three foot slope, I think is what I'm going to do. Uh, then I've got, I'm using pocket screws to secure all these pieces in place. And then I've got another four by four here that's going to add some support for the roof structure on this side. And there we go. So I'm going to wrap it up today, just finish this little section and clean up my mess and get inside. So there is the end of part two. One thing I forgot to mention earlier, the reason I'm making this a three foot span is it's actually going to be a smaller than three foot opening. So from that end to the center of this is three feet and then that's a six foot. So essentially three feet on center with a six foot long uh, section. The reason is the um, the wire mesh, the the PVC cloth that I bought is three feet wide. So I don't have to cut that if I make those wall segments three feet. So that stays the same width. I just have to cut it to length with the exception of the few oddball spots and it should be less waste that way.